In this video, we will practice a few examples that are related to parallel and skew lines. In the first example, it asks, are lines Q and R parallel? So we're trying to figure out if line Q is parallel to line R. Now, from looking at this picture, the first thing that I notice is that there's a 65 degree angle here and here. So what that tells me is line P has to be parallel to line Q because they have angles that match, corresponding angles that match. Because this angle is 65 degrees, this angle has to be 115 degrees because they are a linear pair. Now I notice that this angle of 115 degrees matches with this angle over here of 115 degrees. Because these angles are the same, that means that line Q has to be parallel to line R. These are called alternate exterior angles. So I can say, yes, line Q is parallel to line R. I could also say that line P is parallel to line R or line P is parallel to line Q. Basically, all three of those are parallel. Looking at example B, it says in the cube below, list three pairs of parallel planes. So remember, to be parallel, it means that they should never intersect. So parallel planes would be, for example, the face on the top would be parallel to the face on the bottom because the faces of cubes are actually like planes if you thought about extending them on forever. So that would be one pair of parallel planes. We could write that as plane A, B, E, F and plane C, G, H, D. Now the two other pairs of parallel planes will just be the other sort of opposite faces. So for example, the face in the front and the face in the back and the face in the right with the face on the left. So the face in the front with the face in the back, it's gonna get sort of hard to see all of this at once, so you do have to use your visualization skills. But that would be plane A, B, D, C, and plane in the back, E, F, H, G. And I want you to try thinking on your own, what would the last plane be? It's going to be this face on the right matching with the face on the left. And remember, you just want to name those with the four letters and have them match up. All right, let's look at the last example. In this cube, now list three pairs of skew line segments. So remember to be skew, it has to satisfy two things. They have to never intersect. And if we're talking about line segments, that means they have to never intersect even if you were to extend them on forever as lines. And they also have to be in different planes. So in a cube, that means they have to be coming from different faces. So for example, an answer would not be A, B, and C, D. Those segments are parallel segments. They're not skew because they're both in that same front plane, A, B, C, D. So this would not be an answer. So let's find one. We could do line segment B, D would be skew with line segment E, F. That would be one example. So B, D and E, F would be skew line segments. Another example would be GH and AC because those would never intersect and they could not ever be in the same plane either. So AC and GH. And a third example would be DH and EG. Again, for the same reason, if you were to extend those, they would never intersect and they're also not in the same plane. So that's what makes them skew line segments.